how do these listing sites make money? Now, it varies from site to site. We're really only going to tackle who I think are the four major players. Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, and we're gonna use Compass as our broker adoption. Welcome to our newest video, How a Listing Site Makes Money. Um, I'm your host, I guess. Uh, my name is Ben Lalez. I am the team lead of the Ben Lalez team here at Compass Real Estate. We have sold, numbers just came in, over $150 million worth of real estate in 2022 on over 300 transactions. And we are officially the fastest growing team in the state of Illinois. Let's jump right in. How does a listing site make money? Well, first of all, let's understand what a listing site is. A listing site is your Zillow's, your Redfin's, your Trulia's, et cetera. And for a typical home buyer, why this will matter to you is most often, I think the data is somewhere between 80 and 90% of all home buyers and all home sellers get online to do their first piece of research before potentially reaching out to a real estate agent. So why should you care about how these sites make money? Well, you are going to be interacting with these sites more than likely when you begin your home selling or your home buying journey. And I'm a really big believer in understanding the incentive structure for these sites before you embark on what is probably the most expensive, important, and frankly, fun experience of your life. Most people only get to do this two or three times in their entire life. So what these listing sites do is they take all of the information and aggregate it into hopefully a, a very user-friendly version of the information so that you can compare and contrast not only properties, but grocery stores, school districts, square footage, lot size, building types, etc. in a very easy way. The way I like to describe it is, for example, your Zillow's, your Redfin's, your Realtor.com's, they're spending an incredible amount user experience and user interfacing so that you, the buyer, the seller, whoever you may be, have a really streamlined experience through whether it's their app, their website, etc. So we actually did a ranking of all of the listing sites that are available and there were somewhere like 10 or 12 of them and you can take a look at that video here. For your purposes, the way I want you to think of a listing site is like they're kind of like the e-harmony of real estate. They're going to give you all of your options and you're gonna be able to compare and contrast the properties or singles in your neighborhood so that you can get a feel for what exactly it is you wanna do. So the real question is here and the reason you probably clicked on this is how do these listing sites make money? now? It varies from site to site. Let's start with Zillow. How Zillow makes money, believe it or not, is in only one way. They are actually compiling all of these properties, trying to draw you, the buyer, the seller, whoever you may be, into their site, and then they're selling your information to an agent, and that agent wants to buy that information so that you essentially become a lead for that agent, and they can sell you property and make a commission. Why that's important for you to understand is when you reach out to Zillow, their primary focus, and if you look at Zillow's website and you do a little digging, you'll understand they're incentivized to make you as appealing as a lead to an agent so that that agent will pay them as much money as possible for you, a very highly qualified lead. Hey, this is Sally Smith. She is looking in this neighborhood, her budget is X, she is pre-approved, and for me, that can potentially be very interesting, and I'm willing to spend a lot of money so that I can get that information to hopefully attract you to work with me. Take it from me, or I was one of Illinois' biggest spenders on Zillow, that's incredibly valuable. However, you are more valuable to me if you reach out solo because I didn't have to pay anything for you, so to speak. So that's Zillow. If you have any other questions about Zillow, we have how Zillow makes money, a video about that. And you can leave more questions in the comments if you have particular questions. I guarantee a response in 12 hours or your money back. So the next big dog in the, in the fight is Redfin. In a very similar way, Redfin is an aggregator of properties and they're trying to make it as seamless as possible for you to filter out whatever it is that you're interested in and draw you in and they're hoping, they're praying that you click a button that says contact agent. Redfin is a real estate brokerage. What Redfin wants you to do is actually buy or sell using one of their agents. So whereas Zillow is, whoever, come one, come all, we'll distribute your, these leads to agents across 
brokerages. Mm -hmm. Redfin is a brokerage. They're trying to keep everything in-house so that they themselves, Redfin, can keep the money from the commission that usually the seller is paying. Really different incentive structure. So how Redfin makes money is via commissions earned directly from the real estate transaction. It's really different than Zillow, who is essentially selling leads to agents like me. Zillow, Redfin. Did you know Zillow and Trulia are owned by the same company? Zillow Homes owns Trulia. They are the same exact thing. It's equivalent to Trader Joe's and Aldi. Did you know that? So they're taking their data and they're identifying different pools of people that they wanna target and draw them in, but it is all the same people. It is basically the same user interface. It is the same, essentially, orientation, and people are coming in almost the exact same way. Zillow is, what is the saying, the 100-pound gorilla? thousand pound gorilla. Trulia is relatively insignificant, but among these three, you know, Zillow, Trulia, and Redfin, you account for probably 98% of all online property driven traffic. It is extremely rare for someone like me. You know, we did 300 transactions this year, hundred out of hundred times, 300 out of 300 times in our case, a buyer or seller will have spent some time on one of these listing sites before actively engaging a real estate agent like me. Finally, we have Compass, or you can replace Compass with any other brokerage, whether it be Berkshire Hathaway, Jameson, App Properties, Coldwell Banker, et cetera. They are a real estate brokerage. Um, Compass has a unique spin where they are kind of search first. They'd like to, we'd like to compete with the Zillow's, Trulia, Redfin's of the world because search is king, it really is. That's how people are driving traffic in. But Compass, Zillow, Trulia, et cetera, they are making money solely when you purchase or buy real estate in a transaction, point blank. That is the only way they make money, period. That's the only way I make money, but I'm leveraging some of these listing sites in order to supplement my efforts with my sphere, so to speak. So why did we go over this? Why is it important for you to understand how a listing site makes money? Well, if you are going on Zillow, incentive structures are completely different. Redfin couldn't be more different. If you're going directly to a brokerage, their incentive structure is different. It's important for you to know why are these people doing this for me? Why are they aggregating all of these properties and they're spending all of this money on user experience and advertising to draw me in? What is it that they're doing? What is it that they're getting out of this situation? Obviously it's money, but they're trying to get money in a variety of different ways. So that was how a listing site makes money. Obviously we weren't able to cover all of the nuances. This is a four minute video. If you have any questions, drop a comment, like, subscribe. If you made it this far and you subscribed, and you send us a screenshot to ben at benlalasteam.com, we will send you a $10 Starbucks gift card.